How's the cookie? You want to know? It's the Oreo Review Show. Oh. 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 Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. Welcome to a very special episode of the Oreo Review Show. Today, we're going global all the way out to the far east reaches of the world. Over there where there's, um, you know, Japan is there. It's true, I've reviewed pretty much every major flavor of Oreo and they aren't coming out with too many specialty flavors at the moment. So you're gonna see me really dig into the bottom of the Nabisco barrel for a while. And uh, to start things off, it's Japanese Oreos. So we have two varieties here. There's the Oreo Crispy, uh, which looks like something akin to an Oreo Thin here in the United States. And then we have this one, which just looks like just a golden Oreo, really. It just looks like a standard golden Oreo, but perhaps there's more in store for us, hmm? The question I'm here to find an answer to is this. Are these Japanese Oreo snacks fit for a gaijin like myself? Are they in fact sugoi? Might I describe them as kawaii? Or will the unfortunate case be that the best word to describe these snack products is baka? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Nintendo! I'm gonna start with the crispies, and these come in individually wrapped packages, so you can put them in your lunch box, take them to school, whatever. On the front of the box is a depiction of a vanilla cupcake with some lovely flowers as garnishes. More effort than Nabisco has ever put into an American product. Clearly, they have a different department overseas handling these types of things. They seem real excited about the crispy factor. You see, they've, they've got it breaking in half. And on the side of the box, they show just the top half broken off, just the top half of the top cookie which I have to say is a new variation on being wrong. I do really love how it's a cylindrical package. It conforms to the round shape of the Oreo. I find it highly sensual. Comes open quite easily. And oh, look at that. There's ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies. Why? <laughs> it resembles a thin, there's no doubt about it, but Something about the makeup of the cookie, I think it may even be thinner than a thin. There's a close-up look for you from the side. Similar pattern to be sure as an American Oreo. Uh, but I don't know, there's something about it. I think it's different. All right, first taste test. It's the Japanese Oreo Crispy. Let's find out if it's just a thin or if there's something more here. I'm gonna have one more before I go in for the milk because they're so, why they're so thin. But again, to be clear, they are not thin, they're crispy. On today's episode, the J stands for Japan. Shonen! Now here's the tricky part of this, people. I do not have the equivalent of a normal Japanese Oreo on hand to compare these two. You know, the supply that we get here in the US, it's not as abundant as it would be in, say, Tokyo, for instance. I'm working with what I've got. So it's hard for me to say, are there aspects of this that are different because it's the crispy, or are they things that carry over from the regular Oreo in Japan. Uh, this one over here might be able to answer uh, one or two of those questions. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But as far as the crispy is concerned, I'm gonna say this first off, it's not just a thin, it's different. For one thing, it's not as crunchy, which maybe to some people is a negative, but 
in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, so don't get mad at me, okay? Don't censor me, I can say what I want. The Oreo Thin, it's a little too crunchy, not in a pleasant way. It, it almost, there's this resistance as you bite into it. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's a little, it's dry, it's not great. This one doesn't have that problem. What, 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 watch what happens when I bite into this. Smooth, no resistance. Easy tear through, even my teeth after years of being decayed and eroded by sugary snacks, cuts through it like butter. Something else I feel I must point out, the taste is different. There's definitely a different formula in this chocolate than our dumbed down shitty American chocolate. Now don't get me wrong, this isn't some crazy, expensive, classy, fancy, mind-blowing chocolate flavor. I'm not here to tell you that, oh man, Overseas, the chocolate's gonna, it's gonna make you crazy for how good that chocolate is. In America, it sucks. I would never say that. In America, it does suck. But you know what? It kind of sucks in Japan, too. But it's maybe a little bit softer. Uh, the texture is a little more pleasant. It's somewhat more akin, in my mind, to a cocoa powder type of a sensation. Not like the, the typical Oreo, which is, like I said, even the original has more of a crunch to it, more of a bite to it, a bit of sharpness, because we Americans, we're aggressive and we want to be able to rip a piece off and stab a guy with it in prison if we have to. Something that I've envisioned many times, and if I ever do go to jail for crimes that I allegedly committed, <laughs> I'll know what to do. That vanilla cupcake on the front is not just for show. This is different from the standard Oreo cream, which I suppose by some metric you could label as vanilla, uh, but really it's just, it's sugar cream. This actually does taste like vanilla. It tastes like they were going for a vanilla cupcake flavor, and unlike disgusting American flavors where they make it all, you know, disp, they didn't do that here. In fact, it's crispy, it's thin. There's even less cream than a normal Oreo. It's nice, it's pleasant. It goes down smooth and easy. What can I say? I'm a fan. Putting those aside, let's crack open the golden Oreos. Now, like I said, this is something that you see standard. Oh, whoa. I wasn't expecting the size of this thing. Whew. Similar in girth, but as far as length is concerned, whoo! Anyway, I'm curious to find out if this will be any different from the golden Oreos that I'm used to. This is unbelievable, my friends. This is like a revelation. What in the world is going on? Hentai! Now you heard me remark upon the softer texture and flavor and smoothness in general from the Oreo Crispy, but of course, that's got crispy in the name. So, you know, it's gotta live up to that crisp, at least a little bit. No such expectations with the golden, it's just a golden, and upon biting into one, why, I don't know if you picked this up on camera, but I mean, just get in close, get in close and listen, just get in close. It's like biting in to a cloud. It is soft. It's so soft, but not in a mushy, unpleasant way. Just in a gentle way that is pleasing on the molars. I also don't think that those Krispies were a fluke. There's more of a vanilla flavor to this cream. This cream, it's better than our cream. Now, according to my knowledge of Japanese, uh, the calories per cookie here for the golden is around 54, 54 and a half calories, which is just pretty much on par with our standard Oreos. I thought maybe with the slightly different flavor, texture, there'd be something different going on, but there isn't. This is a standard golden Oreo in terms of its proportions and its health values. Blech. 
But here's the God's honest truth, my friends. If asked to decide between a golden Oreo from America and one from this package, I think, I think, I think this is the one I would, I think I'd, I think I would pick this one. It's true. In comparison, the American versions of these Oreos are disgusting 3D pigs, while these are 2D waifus to be held up on a pedestal and observed and objectified and loved. I'm gonna try dunking one just to see. I don't usually dunk the Goldens, but you know, I wanna, I wanna know what I'm getting into. You gotta test all the angles. That might be too soft. I mean, that's got some mush factor to it. Not bad, but I think you've gotta be quick with those dunks. Hattori Hanzo! I thought that this might be a somewhat underwhelming episode. You know, I don't have the original Japanese Oreo on hand. Maybe that'll be a future episode, but based on what I'm experiencing here, I think I have a pretty clear idea of what it's gonna be like. You know, I had the chocolate flavor, I had the cream flavor, I had the different proportions. I understand where that will land in my head. I'm not giving it a rating, but mm, I probably could. Fuck it, maybe I will, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But what I'm trying to get to is that these surprised me. They weren't just normal Oreos with a Japanese coat of paint on them. There's a difference. There's a difference in flavor. There's a difference in texture. It tastes a little bit better than the Oreos that I've had. Again, I'm just talking about the Goldens and the Krispies. So, you know, the Oreo is still safe with its crown, the standard Oreo. Let's not get crazy, you know, we're not totally upending the world here or anything like that. I'm just saying Japan is bringing their A game and we better watch out because it's, is it, the, is it China the ones we're worried about? Final scores for these bad boys. Let's start with the Krispies. Um, you know, they are better than our Oreo thins. I don't know if they're the equivalent or if there's also a Japanese thin, they're two different things, but I'm gonna guess they're roughly on the same playing field. And like I said, they're better. Now, are they good enough to get a higher rating? Uh, not really for me. Uh, they're gonna get, I think, the same rating that the Thins did, and that's a half a cookie with no cream. Not a great rating. Uh, they're a little better, but still, I just think the proportions aren't excellent. There's still a little bit too much chocolate, and there's still not a reason that I would choose this over a normal Oreo. Uh, they're fine, they're softer, which is nice, they don't have the unpleasant crunch factor, but it's still kind of in that same league. Now, the Japanese golden Oreos, uh, well, that's a different story altogether. These guys, I absolutely think, are above the golden Oreo, which I still really like. Um... They're getting a full golden Oreo. Yeah, they get one full golden Oreo. Uh, you know what? It can be a real one. I don't know. Does anyone care? Who gives a shit? They're great. They're really good. If you like the golden Oreos, then go to Japan. It's worth the trip because these are even better. There's something else on the side of the box here. They have a little, uh, a little, a little chart, some pictures to show you how to eat a golden Oreo. Uh, and, oh no. Step one they say is twist. Step two they say is lick. Step three, dunk. Oh, Japan. I thought we, I thought we had something, but we don't. This is wrong in about a million different ways. You should never twist. You should certainly never lick. And if you're gonna dunk, don't dunk after you've twisted and licked. It's like you're trying to do this in the most wrong way you possibly could. I'm as steamed as King Ghidorah right now, but the scores are in the past. I'm not gonna let that affect the cookie itself. Maybe I should though. You know what? Yeah, I fucking should. You're back down to just a full golden Oreo. Go fuck yourselves. You know, there's a wide variety of Japanese snacks out there that people love. Uh, for example, Sushi. And I don't have time to cover all of the Japanese food market in this episode, but uh, I'm pretty much going to squeeze in like 95% of it, and I'm going to do that by way of a bonus bite. A bonus bite. Ha 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 ha
There they are. Pocky! Perhaps my favorite of the Japanese snacks. It's a classic, comes in different varieties. I myself am a strawberry man. But what we have here is a different variety that I have never tried before. It's the cookies and cream Pocky. Now, I know what you're saying. Hold on. That's not an officially sanctioned Nabisco product. And you're right. That's why this is a bonus bite. This score is non-canon, non-binding. This is just for funsies. So relax, sit back down, keep your pants on. Who doesn't love a Pocky stick? They're just good old fashioned fun. <laughs> For the whole family. Uh, you've got this little part here that doesn't have any of the, 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 it doesn't have any of the stuff on it. So you can hold that with your fingers. Almost hit myself in the face. And you don't get any of it on your fingers. It's not, it's not messy or anything. And then you can just take a little crunch. And that's what I plan on doing. Hmm. It's kind of unsatisfying, that crunch, isn't it? It's like, it's not very big, so. You almost want to get a couple, you know, it's like, it's like getting french fries. You kind of want to double team it, you know? You kind of want to DP it. Not DSP, fuck that. Hmm. Huh. Uh, these aren't very good. I think you can tell they had to cut some corners. And I think what also hurts them a lot is that they don't have access to the true Oreo flavor. Even compared to a standard cookies and cream ice cream, that is a lot more going on. There's a lot more richness, more depth to the taste. I'm a big fan of some of those just generic cookies and cream flavors. Uh, a Hershey's cookies and cream bar, for instance. This one is not cutting it. Uh, whatever it is, it's too thin. Uh, there's not enough of a coating around the thing. Uh, I'm mostly just tasting this kind of relatively bland biscuity flavor. It's not like the real pleasant aftertaste of the strawberry. Go pick that one up instead. Um, so the, the, the cookies and cream Pocky, uh, uh, I don't know, zero Oreos. It's, it's very bland. I don't care about them at all. Ham Taro! That's gonna do it for this special international episode of the Oreo Review Show. I'd like to say a heartfelt Domo Oreo Gato to everyone for watching. It's been really swell. I'm glad you could stick around for it. If you liked what you saw, then go ahead and like the video. You can also subscribe and ring the bell, which will do something, I'm told. Show me some love, people. I'm out there spending my hard-earned yen on Oreo products and server costs just for you. Do me a solid and comment down in the comment section. Talk to me. I want to hear from you. Are you Japanese? Have I offended you? If so, let me know and I will remove this before I get fired from SNL. If not, I still want to hear from you. Talk to me. Let me know. Have you had the Japanese Oreo snacks? Are you a fan? Do you think that the cream is really different and better? Or is it some kind of a placebo effect? And I'm a fucking idiot. Oops. What the fuck is that? Let me know. And uh, until next time. Oreo! How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show!